Hello my lovelies and welcome to my channel. Today malicious compliance. Please sit back, relax and enjoy. Folding doors. Not my revenge but one I saw from my office window. I work in an office in an industrial estate. There are various types of companies around us. Trucking, cement, roofing, etc. Consequently, there are a lot of trucks travelling on the streets at any given time. Important to note, our office is on a roundabout and there are short, low concrete barriers dividing the approaches off and on the roundabout. So limited width. On the day in question, a B-double truck plus two trailers pulls up nearly at the barrier. No parking area, no space. Opens his door and hops out of the truck. He goes around to the other side and then hops back into his cab, leaving his truck door open. He then proceeds to do some paperwork. Another truck from the same company pulls up close and shouts at driver one to close his door so driver two can get past. Driver one is being a prat and refuses. Says, go around me. Driver two does so. Because of the concrete barrier, there is very limited space, so driver two accidentally catches driver one's truck door and folds the whole thing backwards. There's a bit of noise. The door caused a little bit of damage to the canvas sides of truck two, but the door of truck one was wrecked. Driver two went on his merry way. Driver one finally managed to pull his door, mostly closed was still about four inches open and drove very slowly away. We assumed to go back to the depot. Sadly, we never heard the outcome, but can only imagine driver one trying to explain it to management. The instant karma was a thing of beauty. Stairs to nowhere. I lived in an old apartment across the street from where they were building a brand new condo. There was a bit of a hill from the street up to where the new condo was built. I watched them build the condo and then they built a wall at the top of the hill, parallel to the street going around the condos and parking lot. The wall was about six foot high. A few days later I see the same crew that built the wall come back and start building a stairwell from the street up to the condos. Well, up to the wall anyway. The following week they came back and then took down the wall in front of the stairs to create a path to the condos. I swear I saw them laughing as they took down the wall they built a week before. can't park in my driveway? Okay, I'll block parking in front of your house. Many years ago, we lived in a rental house in a cul-de-sac. One of the neighbours refused to interact with us because we were only renters while she owned her house. Whenever anyone parked in front of her house, she would demand they move their car because they were her parking spots. Well, one weekend we were having a birthday party for our kid. We had to double park cars in our driveway to accommodate the extra vehicles and avoid parking in front of her house. This meant that two of the cars overlapped the sidewalk a little. We're in a cul-de-sac. Kids play in the street all the time, so it didn't block anyone from walking past. Midway through the party, we have a couple cops show up. Our neighbour called them to complain because her daughter couldn't ride her bike on the sidewalk due to our parking. She could have easily gone around the cars, and the cops agreed it was stupid. But technically, it was illegal to park on the sidewalk, and we'd have to move the cars. I told them we had issues with the neighbour when we parked in front of her house, and they said street parking is public parking, and free for anyone, as long as the vehicle didn't remain there for an extended period of time. Q. Malicious Compliance we moved the double park cars to in front of her house, and from then on we always parked at least one of our cars in front of her house, even if there was room in our driveway, and parked it in such a way to block any other cars from parking in front of her house. 
Well, my friends, I certainly hope that you enjoyed today's stories. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. And hey, until next time, so long, farewell, pip pip cheerio, much love, and bye.